Hello everyone. Whoa. Let me move you back. Alright. Sorry I look a little naked. I'm not <laughs> I'm not wearing any makeup, but hello. I hope you're doing well. Happy Spooktober. Obviously, I have my little <coughs> spooky setup. And today I will be doing a Halloween tag. I wasn't really sure what this was and I just searched it up and it's just a bunch of like Halloween questions so all right so I have my laptop here and it has the questions I just got them from Google probably can't see it but yeah let's just jump into it I think there are almost 30 questions so get cozy grab your cup of tea I have mine it's the pumpkin chai in my pumpkin mug that Michelle got me last year for my birthday so <clears throat> my throat's dry I don't yeah okay let's jump into the questions okay first question favorite horror or Halloween themed song god that's so hard um <clears throat> let's look into my jack-o-lanterns playlist on spotify little plug if you don't follow my spotify you should but oh it's so hard there are so many songs um <laughs> i just okay last week i discovered beetlejuice's broadway musical and there's this song um where is it okay the song is called the whole being dead thing and that's that's a banger but i also really like oh god this is so hard <clears throat> i also really like like corpse bride soundtrack from the movie it's oof, it's so good especially the piano song <sighs> but ah, i can't i can't i can't everything i love is in this playlist i'm sorry basically couldn't answer that one <laughs> number two name something you wouldn't want to run into in a dark forest or an abandoned building first of all spiders i hate them why would i want to run into them but maybe a serial killer because then how can i enjoy my time walking in the dark forest or abandoned building when i have a serial killer chasing after me ghost fine like i can't see them you know whatever <laughs> but yeah i guess spiders and serial killers that's my answer um number three have you ever played a ouija board i mean last year i was with my old friend christian and we were at the spirit store i believe or like some halloween store and they had a Ouija board and I was so shocked like why why does this place have a Ouija board like those things are You shouldn't mess with them And I opened it. I didn't really play with it, but I did touch it and I was playing around with it, but Would I ever play one? Maybe but I know you have to respect it and you know Make sure you tell them that they can't follow you yeah, I would play one, but I don't think I've ever played with one. Just you, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Number four, favorite horror monster or villain. Well, I really like the Scream movies, so I'd have to say Ghostface. I'd have to say Ghostface. You know. Yeah, I I love him. I love him. I actually have his mask. Mask? <laughs> his mask in my closet. I just mm, love him. Number five. The creepiest thing that's ever happened while you were alone. <sighs> well, I mean, it's kind of hard to say, oh, a weird noise, because I live in an apartment and there's neighbors surrounding me. Creepiest thing, though? I don't know. <laughs> this um i guess sometimes like oh well i wasn't alone but i was in the bathroom and like the biggest spider was crawling down the ceiling right in front of my face 
I I dodged it so that happened to me twice. Spiders love me, but I don't love them. Okay, next question. If you were dared to spend the night in a haunted house, would you do it? Yes. Why not? You know, I think it's fun. Never done it, but I want to. Um Yeah, I would do it. Are they paying me to do it? <laughs> Number oh next question <laughs> sorry like i messed up do you ever see figures in your peripheral version vision yes i do all the time it's creepy <laughs> i tell my mom am i crazy because i keep seeing things like if i'm just sitting down on the couch i would think that the spider is crawling oh and i look up and my mom's like what are you doing looking up and i was like oh i thought i saw a spider crawling all the time in my bathroom too when i'm just brushing my teeth i like look on the wall really like carefully and i see like this thing on the wall and there's nothing one time i jumped and there was nothing there i'm telling you these spiders they're messing with me next question do you prefer <laughs> i can't talk do you prefer gore or thrillers hmm that's kind of hard um can it be both <laughs> like when i think of gore i think of like american horror story or i don't know both like shouldn't both be part of it thrillers i both both next question do you believe in multi dimensions or worlds yes of course Shane, have you seen Shane Dawson's conspiracy theories? Next question. Ever made a potion of any sort? No. But I don't know if you can see this book right there. My um, old friend got it for me. It's called A Spell a Day. I don't know. Should I do a spell video? Let me know if you'd like to see that. There are tons of spells. Um, some of them you have to do it on a like specific day. You need to have specific things. There's like instructions But since it's October, let me know if you want to see Sabrina the Teenage Witch making a potion Let me know Next question. Do you get scared easily? Um, do I? I don't think so Like if we're talking watching movies No, cuz no I've seen too many of them. I'm not scared anymore. Um, so no. Next question. Have you ever played Bloody Mary? Yes, but I didn't do it correctly. <laughs> I was uh, in elementary school and we had this really creepy bathroom. If you went to Mission Wars and you were a girl, obviously not the boys, you would know that the bathroom before you went into the playground by the stairs it was kind of creepy and dark and just spooky and I tried it and I just kept imagining things like oh something's scratching me oh there's a woman behind me but no it didn't work would I ever do it again I don't know <laughs> I kind of don't want to mess with those things maybe I would do it if it's not my apartment you know if it's somewhere else maybe a hotel room you know or if I ever go to the Queen Mary I know that they have like a paper on the wall in the bathrooms at the Queen Mary and they give you instructions on how to do Bloody Mary so oh, I really want to go there next question do you believe in demons slash the devil yes I do you can't see it my devil horns are up there I don't like I don't praise him like the chilling adventures of Sabrina where they go hail Satan I don't do that I just yeah of course I believe it I believe in God too you know Next question. You're home alone, but you hear footsteps in your house. What do you do? Ooh, spicy. Hmm. What do I do? Um, I'd probably like listen, like where the footsteps are coming from. Um, I don't know. <laughs> what would I do? Walk away? <laughs> Is it walking towards me? I probably just be like, oh, okay. 
what, what are you supposed to do in those situations? You can't be like the basic person in the movies where they're like following the footsteps, you know? All right, next question. Um, if you got trapped in one scary movie, which would you choose? Okay, I want to say Chucky Because how can they not kill that little doll? Like it's a little doll and <laughs> They I don't know like they're so afraid of it. Like have you ever seen Chucky? How can they not kill him? Like I know there's like a spirit in him, but just freaking shove him on the ground <laughs> Take his knife away from him. I don't know uh, <laughs> Chucky that's my answer I would say scream, but I might just become a girl scream, you know? I don't know. Okay, next question. <laughs> if you could only wear one Halloween costume for the rest of your life, what would you be? Oh, is this like a Halloween town scenario? <laughs> Where there are like, you know, they're not even in costumes, like that's their life, but. I wanna say vampire, cause I really liked having those fangs in. I was a vampire one year. Um, <clears throat> in high school, I think it was, oh my god, <clears throat> excuse me, I think it was sophomore year, um, I'll try to find a picture, but I didn't really take any pictures with it, I know, stupid, um, I'd either be a vampire or, I liked being a serial killer too, I'll post pictures if I find them, being a devil was cool too, I don't know, just out of those three, I, mm, mm, that's hard. You decide which one should I be if you ever see the pictures if I pop them up next question um, would you ever go to a graveyard at night yes and I want to I want to do these things like I I, I know it'll be creepy but like you know those are people's loved ones what, what can they do unless like a really bad person is buried there stay clear of his grave or her grave um, next question. In a zombie apocalypse, what is your weapon of choice? Ooh. Okay, I would say gun, but I don't want to run out of bullets, you know, shooting them in the head. <sighs> Maybe like a really big machete, you know, so I can just chop their head off. Because I know you're supposed to kill them by the head, right? Ooh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, a big machete. Mm. Yeah. Next. Would you rather go to a Halloween party or go trick or treating? Okay, first, I've never been to a Halloween party. Yes, I know. I'm 20 years old and I've never been to a Halloween party. And I don't think the ones at Mission Lores counted because they were just a Halloween dance. Oh, but trick or treating. I haven't gone trick or treating in a long time. Ugh. How about. I go trick-or-treating and then go to a Halloween party. You know, both of them. Why would you cancel out one fun when you can have both the fun? Next question. <laughs> You're in a horror movie. Are you the final girl, the first to die, the comic relief, the skeptic, the smart one, or the killer? Oh. Well, I wouldn't be the smart one for sure. <laughs> And I don't want to be the final girl. Well, no, I I got that mixed up. I would be the I would want to be the final girl. I don't want to be the first to die. But I feel like I'd be the comic relief. Cause I don't know. Like Chandler being said, what did he say? <laughs> He's he uses comedy as a what did he say? Hold on. Chandler Bing quote. Oh, one thing he says is, Hi, I'm Chandler. I make jokes when I'm uncomfortable. Um, there's also another one where I've watched Friends like 10 times. What do you say? He uses it as a... Uh, he uses comedy, oh, he uses comedy as a defense mechanism. That's it. So I feel like I'd be the comic relief. The killer would be fun to be in a horror movie. Like that game, 
where you pick cards with friends and you you guys don't know who's the killer and who's not the killer i don't know uh the comic relief you know why not why not i think i'm funny <laughs> next question do you have to watch something happy after watching a horror movie so you can go to sleep no i would just keep watching more scary movies they're not scary well there is like insidious and the conjuring sorry my dog where the face would just get stuck in my head like the nun oh my god one time i had a dream of the nun in la llorona oof but no i don't have to watch something scary i mean happy after um next question while watching scary movies are you the person who yells at the characters the person with their eyes covered the whole time or the person who falls asleep i would not cover my eyes because i like i said they're not scary <clears throat> and i would not be the person who falls asleep like i it's hard when i'm watching a scary movie and i don't want to fall asleep because i want to know what happens at the end if i haven't seen it already i also don't want to be that person that falls asleep early in a movie um so yeah i am the person that yells at the characters i do that my mom loves it when we watch lifetime and i'm yelling at the characters she likes it when i'm pissed off and irritated I don't, she finds relief in that I don't know. <laughs> next question um are you the one who gets scared or the one who does the scaring the one who does the scaring i scare my mom all the time and she hates it sometimes i don't even do it on purpose i'm just walking into the room that she's in and she screams and curses in the god log and i'm like what you didn't you hear me coming she's like no and then she gets mad at me I was like, <laughs> but i'm dying of laughter so i'm the one that does the scaring favorite scary book okay I need to read The Shining. That is on my to-do list. Because the only scary scary books I've read were Goosebumps. And um, I lent mine, my R.L. Stein one, College Weekend is the title. I lent that to Michelle. And I think that's pretty interesting. Like, they should make a Lifetime movie out of that. Because I like it a lot. But yes, I need to read The Shining so I don't have a scary book. Because I suck at it. I, mm, yeah next one how old were you when you saw your first horror movie i need to call my mom i know she's outside but she's watching something she can't hear me <clears throat> is she even gonna answer i feel like she wouldn't answer she's gonna be like what sabrina mom <laughs> <laughs> I'm filming, but what? how old was I when I watched my first scary movie? When you watched your first scary movie? Yeah. I guess two or three years old. <laughs> two or three? What was it? I don't know. Um, okay, well, the next question... Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, I don't know. I forgot. Okay, well, what the next question is what was your first Halloween costume? Me? Mine. Oh, yours? The. Is it the dragon? <laughs> I thought it was a dinosaur. Dinosaur, yeah. Oh. Dinosaur. Okay. Thank you. Still have it somewhere. Okay, thank you. Love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye. <laughs> she said my first movie was Lilo and Stitch in like the movie theater, but she can't remember the scary movie. Mom. Um. Well, a little story time when. <laughs> When I, I don't know what age I was, maybe five or six, we watched this movie with my god sister called Hide and Seek. Um, it has Dakota Fanning in it. And oh yeah, Hide and Seek came out 2005. It's rated R. Wow, they made me watch a rated R movie when I was five. <laughs> Thanks, mom. Thank you. 
um it's a mystery thriller it's so good it's like one of those movies with like a plot twist right i haven't seen it in a while but yeah um let me pop it on the screen can you see i suggest you watch it it's good um but yeah i remember being first i was brave watching it then i got really freaked out but i don't remember my first maybe that was my first I don't know because then i remember when i was younger my mom would be flipping through the channels and there was always like a werewolf movie playing <laughs> i don't know and those always freaked me out like when they were tra changing into like the werewolf i don't know but two more questions is the next one is what are you going to be for halloween this year and i want to keep it a secret because i feel like it's such a good halloween costume in my opinion that I want to keep it a secret but I will make a video on it and I want to make a video on like past Halloween costumes even though they're gonna be embarrassing as hell so um, I'll probably post that uh, on the what is on the 30th no probably November 2nd like the last spooktober video you know um okay last question everyone if you could have a spooky halloween pet what would you pick and they said black cat owl bat rat rat and a wolf so i have a black cat um but i also really like wolves and i am sabrina the teenage witch um a black cat or a wolf I really like wolves, but I already have a black cat, so I'll just say black cat. Um, yeah, those are the end of the questions. I kind of wish this was longer, because that was really fun. <laughs> um, but I'm thinking of doing like a reading scary stories video. Like I'll search up really scary stories that people wrote true scary stories of course so it's creepy um and i'll make it cozy like this maybe a little darker you know so it's all spooky and stuff but i'm thinking of doing that so thanks for watching um if you made it this far comment what can you comment Okay, my camera rudely shut off because I think it only records up to 25 minutes. I can't believe that was 25 minutes. <laughs> but like I was saying, if you made it this far, comment your favorite scary movie. Um, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share with your friends and family um happy october the best month ever because halloween is just floating around us everywhere <laughs> um and yeah i'll see you in the next video goodbye my little devils love you